Hey! The parentals have arrived to LAX. We are going to get some food before they send me off. All right, you guys, I am gonna start this timer and I'm gonna stop the timer when I land in Bali. I hope it's no longer than like 35 hours. So fun fact, my parents are in fact divorced. <laughs> divorced? Oh, de I think it's a deforested. <laughs> hey, mom. You guys, my mom started crying, so I started crying. Oh, you're just crying of a proud moment. Catch up! Catch up! Catch up! Catch up! Catch up! Why is she's running? She's running. So the next time I see her, I'll be a year older. Woo! You guys, I just sat down. Um, the 33 hour travel day begins now. So, my travel schedule looks like I'm flying from LA to Tokyo, Tokyo to Jakarta, and then Jakarta to Bali. <laughs> so excited. It was really sad saying goodbye to my parents, but once again, just it was like an overwhelming feel of love. My eyes were sweating a bit from that. I just got off my flight. It was a 12 hour flight. I wanted. I wanna go to the 7-Eleven that's in this airport because I've heard a lot about it. I heard like the sushi at the 7 is really good. So if I have time, I have like 30 minutes until I board, 40 minutes until I board, but I need to find a bathroom to freshen up. Because that's crucial. Because I have two more flights still. Let's check the phone. What hour are we at right now? Hour 15 out of 35, I think? Anyways, found a bathroom. I'm taking my vitamins right now before I hop on the flight. I take probiotics, vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin D, and a multivitamin for women. Also, my biggest fear when traveling is dehydration, so I'm gonna chug a Pedialyte packet once I arrive in Bali. Oh, and for bars, I bought a Fiber One bar and a Go Macro. Go macros are my holy grail. I just got on the plane to Bali. I cannot wait to show you guys where I'm staying. It's been a place that I have had on my list for like this exact um, accommodation. It's been on my list for about a year now and the fact that I'm gonna be there in less than three hours blows my mind, blows my mind. I'm so exhausted. We are currently going on, let's see what hour we're on. Okay, hour 28, that's not that bad. We haven't hit the 30 hour mark, so I guess this travel went a bit faster than I had expected. All right, we have landed in Bali. It is time to stop. 30 hours and 23 minutes. 22 seconds, point 0.79.
All right, you guys, I checked into the hostel. Here is what the hostel room looks like. It's super nice. There's six people and look at outside. I can't believe this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Why did I not sign up? Good morning, everybody. It is my first full day here in Bali. I landed yesterday after a 30 hour travel, which honestly, I would travel way more than that if I was gonna get to this destination. So that's how much I'm loving it so far. And I went to bed around 10, 30 p.m. And we had a beautiful like sunset music session where everyone just brought out their guitars and it was amazing. It was like a great welcome to the island. I already ate my breakfast and did some journaling, got my coffee. And then I'm going to go to the rooftop gym to get a workout in, go to the co-working space to get some work done. And then I'm gonna jump into the pool, lay out in the sun and surf. Also, the place that I'm staying at is my dream surf hostel. It is called Kima Surf Camp. I'm staying at the one in Chenggu, and I am so in love with it already. Like, everything's included. Breakfast, they have events, transportation everywhere. And it's also really nice because when you travel to a new place to surf, it's nice to have locals who know the break and can help you navigate it, which is why I chose Kima as my first accommodation when I landed in Bali so I can kind of get a know of the land before I head off kind of more on myself or on my own so yeah I am loving it already last night we had a barbecue as well it was amazing I had chicken right fried rice some sushi and a green smoothie also I just need, I just want to show you guys my location right now it's Insane. I feel like I'm in like my Instagram reels or something. <laughs> and that is just kind of where everyone hangs out. And right here is where I ate my breakfast. And up there is where I journaled. Yes! I'm excited to take you guys along with my day. This is the co-working space. It's nice and air-conditioned in here too. But oh my goodness, this is where I'm gonna be getting my work done for the next nine days. And that's if I don't extend my trip. Okay. Woo! 
You guys, the sun in Bali is so strong, it's not even funny. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna serve every day for like however long I'm here. I'm gonna be burnt to the crisp. But I'm getting kind of hungry and I want to eat before I surf. So I think I'm gonna order a avocado toast and a coconut. So right. So sunny. This one's so This one. Because I was 25 when I make it there. <laughs> Yes, I give it to you. <laughs> so, my friend from the hostel just dropped me off at the market, and I'm gonna go try and find some jewelry. But this is <laughs> this is how we get around. But look at how many scooters there are. I would lose this one. I probably will lose it. <laughs> so I'm at this market called Love Anchor. Where they have jewelry, sarongs, bikinis. It's so cute in here. I just got these two bracelets and they are so beautiful. Alright, sorry for all the noise. This is where I'm at right now. Um, but I'm just kind of walking around seeing where the streets take me. Um, I'm trying to look for some cool stores, get some cool things. Here's the fit right now. Keep you guys updated. I got some lunch. This chicken wrap and pita, I think. No, just chicken wrap. And I also ordered a coconut. Mm -mm. Oh, this is like a garlic sauce. Mm. Mm -mm. That was so good. Oh, that's actually a lot. That's a lot. I didn't want to try it. I tried the other side. I'm gonna try this red sauce. Mm, are you going to yoga? It's in. What time is it at? Five. Five, five o'clock. And it's. Three. Three right now? No, it's four thousand. Oh. Four thousand. Hopefully this is spicy. Hmm. Very good. Got me. <laughs> Island tax right here. So we're just chilling by the pool. Got my two friends from Australia. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. <laughs> There's a guy in my room from Italy, and I was. I, I'm so embarrassed that I said this, but I was like. Um, oh, my favorite saying is Italian. And he was like, okay, what's the saying? And I said, Dolce fagnette. And that means the sweetness of doing nothing. Exactly what I'm doing right now. But um, yeah, I don't really have like plans today. I went to Finn's Beach Club. <laughs> So fun and um, we're doing like a community barbecue at eight oh I'm excited I I put down chicken for me what did you get chicken as well. it yeah was so good it was day. so good but I will probably get some clips of the barbecue 
and I will see you guys in the next clippy. All right, we are heading over to the family barbecue, which is what they call it. And they're just playing some music right now while they eat their food. Ooh! I got some chicken, potato salad. I don't really know what this is. I'm gonna try it. Rice and some veggies. Good morning. It is the next day. It is 5.30 a.m. Sorry about the, the glow on my camera. It's really humid outside, so it's fogging up. Okay, I tried to clean the fog off, but we're going surfing. We are, we just packed the van, and we're headed to this spot called Racetrack. Is it fogging up again? Whatever. Um, apparently yesterday it was like four to six. Five to seven, maybe, which is like pretty good for California, but I think in Indonesia it's pretty average, like maybe even small. So, um, I'm also writing a shorter board today, and I'm excited. So, I'll show you what the conditions look like once we get there. Um, I surfed yesterday, it was amazing. Oh, the conditions were great, um, super consistent, but yeah, super excited. I just put on my zinc sunscreen, which is why I have a white face, but I don't care. I'm not trying to have wrinkles by the time I'm like 45. But this is what it's like staying in a hostel. So last night, well, I woke up in our group chat. The group chat was chaotic this morning at 5 a.m., just starting off the day strong. So all the dorm rooms in our hostel kind of look the same. Well, they, they do look the same, but they're like a copy and paste, and there's many of them. So I guess someone came home at like 2.30 a.m. and thought he was in his dorm and sat on my friend Tammy who was sleeping and was like, you're in my bed. And she was like, no, you're in the wrong room. And he like fully used the bathroom and was like, just living his best life, not in his dorm, in someone else's dorm. And that is really insane too. And Tabby was feeling sick too. And she imagine being in a deep sleep and just like a full grown man just sitting on you. <laughs> okay, we are waiting for the waves to come in. It's super low tide right now. So yeah, I, I went through. I went through the washing machine a couple few times. There was it was so funny. It was like it was a huge wave, right? And I was kind of on the inside paddling back, and I was like, ah. Oh. So I try to make it over the lip, and I barely make it. But then I don't. So but then my it's like one of those waves where the my head it was just my head above the wave, but and it was just slowly bringing me away. And I was looking at my friends. I was like, see you guys later. As my head was just being pulled by this massive wave and then as I pulled I went over the washing machine so and my friends were like ah yeah that'll do it for her the Balinese waves are so powerful but in the coolest way so when I paddle I feel like I'm someone's pushing my board because they're just so powerful um, it's gonna be hard to go surf California waves after that because sometimes California waves you have to paddle for your life to catch a wave but these ones it's like they're so powerful that you know it's pretty nice, but yeah, I feel it's so powerful that I feel like someone is pushing my board when I paddle So I just got back from breakfast. I'm gonna it is 10 a.m. Right now. It's also Monday So I'm just gonna go for one more quick surf 200 meters from the beach and I will I need to go get some work done. So after that I'm gonna go to the co-working space It sucks that I can't bring my camera my vlogging camera uh, when I go surfing or like when we're walking onto the beach just because I don't bring a bag with me, I just leave everything in my room and I walk to the beach or I leave everything in the surf van. Um, but, you know, that could change.
so I just took a shower and got dressed. This is just a set from Forever 21. I will see you guys at dinner and then we're gonna go to a concert. All right, so we just arrived to Lola's and this is what it looks like. They have arrived. Lola's, 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 Lola's. So it is, it is happy hour and look at all the margaritas that they have. Classic passion fruit jalapeno, kiwi jalapeno. Chip. Look at all this pink butterfly jalapeno. What does that even mean? So I got um, slow cooked burrito tacos, beef, three chicken um, taquitos, and look at all the food that just came out. Oh, I'm so full. I'm so full. Oh, it's so good. Also, this cucumber. Basil, margarita's great. Yeah. We are headed to a concert on the beach. I guess we're going through our Sticky fingers. So I will see you guys. Aussie band. Aussie band. going to is in Kuda and we are staying in Changu at Kima Surf. So I think it's about a 45 minute drive. Huh? Hello. <laughs> My hair is turning to straw. Good morning. It is currently 7.15 and we woke up at 5.30 a.m. to make it to the boat on time to go to Nusa Penita because we are supposed to go scuba diving with manta rays today but we didn't book the tickets beforehand so we sent our friend Damien to go look for tickets but all the boats are full we don't know if we're gonna find a ticket but I'll keep you guys updated so we're just <laughs> Damien took off on like a scooter <laughs> Um, uh, some guy came up to him and was like, follow me. So he followed him on the scooter. But yes. We are just hoping that we can get a boat in the next 15 minutes. But 15 minutes. <laughs> but it leaves in 15 minutes. It leaves in 15 minutes. They're loading now, but let's pray for now. Walk of shame. Is it a failed mission? Yeah, that's a big fail. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Excuse me, you can contact your friend now. We have space for you, pay 500 for the ticket. Wish luck. Are you ticket? Yes. <laughs> oh, it doesn't, doesn't smell really good. <laughs> Hello, I love this. I would rather sit up here. Yeah, it's VIP. It this is, is VIP. VIP. <laughs> we ball. We <laughs> Wow. Okay, now this guy, he has to wait for us. I'm going to call him and see the answers. So he said we might, he might wait yeah, for us? Yeah, he's like, yeah, we might wait for you. <laughs> what time do we get to this potato? He said like around 9, 9.20. So, Prince, Princess da Prince Damien, Prince Damien went to the captain and said, excuse me, sir, are we going to Nusa Panita? Because to be frank, we don't know. But thank goodness we're in the cargo area and it says it's headed to Nusa Panita. So that's our way of telling where we're headed. Thank goodness. Okay, the 9 a.m. boat, but it's currently 7.45. So like, here's my question. Are we going to Nusa Penita? And what happened to the people who actually booked the 9 a.m. flight thinking the boat was gonna leave at 9 a.m.? I think they're over there now. <laughs> but yes. Also, for some context, we thought of this plan like pretty late at night last night. We were sitting around one of the common areas, and Prince Damien was like, Prince, Prince Damien was like, I'm going scuba diving with the mentor race tomorrow. And I look at him, and I kind of give him a look. I'm like, 
I think I am too, I guess. So, it was a very last minute plan. We still figured it out. And now I'm on a boat to Nusa Penida. I think, I think. Fun fact, Damien, Prince Damien is actually a certified rescue diver and he brought his gear, he brought his mask and he's kind of briefing us on the basics because I think we're gonna skip the intro. I've never scuba dived before. We're just gonna skip like the pool intro training and we're just gonna be thrown into it. back from scuba diving and it was the most amazing time. Did you guys have fun? It was amazing. New hobby for Vivian. But I still can't believe we made it onto this boat and to this was island. So it was so close. There were so many things that could have gone wrong. But it was just in our destiny to go scuba diving today. It was. It was. And now Vin's Beach Club, no kidding. Am I kidding though? That was the, the, one of the most fun days I've ever had in my life, entire life. So my roommate James and I are going to get our laundry done. And it's been about a week. And we're already holding our laundry sacks. But uh, in Changu, there are actually so many laundromats that where you can drop off your laundry, they wash it, dry it, and they fold it for you, which is super convenient. Thought we'd do a, a weekly laundry run. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hello. Okay, so it is 16,000 per kilo. Laundry, <laughs> you know, it makes me look scared. Wow, they even iron it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had the double of yours. Look at these small bananas. Oh my goodness. Which one do I take? <laughs> so cute. I see it. I see it. I don't know why, but Daniel, four people on one net's kind of making me you nervous. So every single day, I've been coming to this mart to get these electrolyte vitamin drinks. They have been keeping me alive. Um, they have so many B vitamins in them and so many electrolytes. And I also bought this Sofel um, bug spray because apparently this is the best one in Indonesia. The one that I brought from the US just doesn't work. The mosquitoes don't give one single crap about <laughs> the bug spray that I bought from home. So I decided to pick some up. And the flavor of my zone that I got is lychee lemon. It tastes so good. You guys, our friends are leaving us. Oh, it's sad, but we I think I'm gonna meet up with him in Naboud in about two weeks. So it's not a goodbye, but a see you later. This isn't goodbye. <laughs> They're leaving us. Yeah, Safe travels. <laughs> Aww. I'm a bit sad. 
I guess this is like one of the cons of solo travel or just traveling in general. You meet a lot of really cool people, but they, then you have to say goodbye when they have to leave and it's sad. I feel like everyone shows like, oh my gosh, travel is amazing. You meet so many great people, but I had no idea like saying goodbye. I never, I thought I would make connections like this when I was traveling, but you just, sometimes you just have to say goodbye. I mean, there's no other choice. You have a choice, but yeah, you do make a lot of good friends, but a lot of hard goodbyes. But something that gives me peace of mind <laughs> is that one of our friends was like, well, you know what? There is a saying that you do meet everybody at least twice. So, maybe our friends will meet up somewhere in another part of the world. So, I think I'm just going to take a couple hours to just chill and then I'm going to hit the workout. Good morning, you guys. It is my last day at Kima Surf. I'm so sad because I had such a good time here, but... All good things must come to an end. So I'm just gonna run downstairs, get a smoothie bowl, because the smoothie bowls at Kima Surf are like infamous and I haven't had one in like the 10 days that I've been here. So I'm gonna get one, pack up my bags, say goodbye to everybody, but I will definitely try and come back to Kima by the end of my trip, hopefully. So, yeah. Yeah, but you So this is the best smoothie bowl I've ever had in my entire life. Mm. I I've never had a smoothie yeah. bowl. You haven't? Yeah. I'm not a carbs guy. I almost forgot to end the travel vlog. Vlog. But here is a flower from me to you, for you, to help get you through. I wish you all. Happy and healthy souls, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.